And good evening, everyone, and welcome to Scottsdale Stadium in Scottsdale. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network. It's play-by-play -play coverage of Saguaro Sabercats Varsity Baseball, and it's game number 27 on the year for the Sabercats as they uh, face the Fountain Hills Falcons. Home game for Fountain Hills, and so Saguaro leads things off with J.T. Nettleton, and he takes the first pitch high for ball one. Sabercats come in at 13 and 13. 22nd overall in Division II baseball with an 8 and 7 record. As the pitch is fouled to the backstop and the count goes to 1 and 1. Fountain Hills comes in with a record of 22 wins and 3 losses. And they are 12 and 3 in Division III baseball. And that puts them as the number 3 overall team in the power rankings. One ball and one strike on J.T. Nettleton, who leads it off for the Sabercats in the top of the first. Shortens the bunt there and bunts through it for a strike in the count one and two. Sabercats coming off a nice win on Friday on the road at Shadow Mountain. Sabercats beat the Matadors eight to five. Scoring six runs in the final two innings to break open a 2-2 ball game. They gave up three in the final two innings and uh, had to hang on as Shadow Mountain left the bases loaded. And there's a swing and a miss, and Nettleton strikes out, and that's how the ball game gets started here in the first inning. So Nettleton uh, leading off playing right field. Turner lace bat second at shortstop. Brett Adams, the catcher, is third. Matt Mara at first base is fourth. The number five hitter is the left fielder, Michael Bloom. Shane Stansbury hits sixth and plays third base. Luke Eichstein in center field is seventh. Brian McGill, the DH tonight, he bats eighth. And the number nine hitter is the second baseman, Ben Lagusis. And the first one to Lace misses for ball one. The 1 0 -oh pitch. Over the outside corner, a strike, and it's 1 and 1. Nick Quatesiak, the starter for Fountain Hills. Tiziak, a junior left-hander, and his 1-1 pitch. And that's hit hard on the right side, and that's into right field for a base hit. So Lace with a lead, uh, I'll make it a one-out single here in the second inning. The uh, first inning, boy, I beg your pardon, just getting settled in here. So one on and one out, top of the first inning. There we go. And the batter is Brett Adams. Adams, the catcher in there and ready, hitting from the right side against the left-hander, Wateziak. And he's going after the first one, hits it down the right field line. If it's fair, it's trouble. That is up against the fence. And that's going to send Lace around third base. He's going to try to come home. Here comes the relay throw. It's cut off. And the Sabercats are on the board. An RBI double, of course, for Brent Adams. I say, of course, 19 doubles now for Adams. And he knocks in his 21st run of the season. And more importantly, the Sabercats get one in the top of the first inning, and they lead Fountain Hills one to nothing. Now with the uh, runner at second base, that will send the uh, catcher for Fountain Hills out to talk to Wateziak. We'll get a runner at second as Nick Lebroni is on as a courtesy runner. So Lebroni runs for Adams at second base. Matt Merrill will be the hitter for the Sabercats. It's uh, Paul Bernarski in left field for Fountain Hills. Devin Foyle is in center field. Justin Stuber is in right. Cameron Russo plays third. Corey Coca-Cola the shortstop. Andrew Bernarski at second. As the first one of Mara over for a strike. Cole Miles the first baseman and Josh Tant the catcher for Fountain Hills as he catches Nick Wateziak. One on, one out, one in for Saguaro top of the first. And Mara with a swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. Now the center, the check back to second in the 0-2 pitch, and Mara taps it on the third base side, but foul. And we stay no balls in two strikes.
Sabercats with a run in the top of the first inning. Facing off against Fountain Hills, these two teams will meet again next week in the final game of the regular season for both teams. A fastball from Letiziak is low for a ball, and it's one and two on Matt Mara. Michael Bloom next for the Sabercats. Now the one two. And that's over the outside corner, a call third strike. As Wittesiak goes to the back door, breaking ball there and gets it over the corner. And Mara strikes out, second strike out of the inning for Wittesiak and the second out of the first. And the batter is Michael Bloom. And Bloom going after the first one, a ground ball up the middle. Knocked down by the second baseman to throw on to first and safe the call. That looked like the throw might have beat Bloom, but safe the call, and that'll go as an infield single and an RBI for Michael Bloom as Lebroni scores all the way from second base. And it's a two spot now in the top of the first inning for the Sabercats. Now Bloom aboard at first base with two outs for Shane Stansberg. And the first one to Stansbury over for a strike. Bloom, nine stolen bases. He's been caught three times. And a swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. No balls, two strikes on Stansbury. Well, Tiziak sets and the delivery is swung on and missed. The ball down in the dirt, but they'll throw it down to first base. A strikeout and a 2-3 put out, and that'll end the top of the first inning. But Saguaro gets on the board at the top of the first. They score two times on three base hits, and they leave one after a half inning of play at Saguaro 2 and Fountain Hills coming up. Set to go in the bottom of the first inning. As Stephen Gifford gets the start tonight for Solaro and his first pitch of fastball off the outside corner for ball one. And the 1-0 pitch, that's over the outside corner, a strike, and it's 1-1. One and one. Now the 1-1 pitch and a fly ball, that's out to center field. Luke Eichste there, though, back just a couple of steps, and he makes the catch. And that is out number one. That was uh, Corey Kokola, by the way, the leadoff hitter. Josh Tant bats second. He's the catcher. Then Andrew Bernarski third. Cameron Russo fourth. Devin Foyle is fifth. Justin Stuber sixth. Paul Bernarski is seventh. Dakota Neidhart, the DH today. He bats eighth. And the number nine hitter is Nick Watiziak. As the first one to Tant is outside for ball one. One out, bases empty, bottom of the first inning. Fountain Hills trailing by a score of two to nothing as Tant fouls a pitch back and out of play, and the count is one and one. One ball, one strike on Tant. Andrew Bernarski next for the Falcons and the pitch. A little bit low for a ball. It's two and one. Gifford with a 2-1 pitch and a tapper foul coming back behind home plate and up against the wall of the backstop, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Beautiful night for baseball. Going to cool off nicely here. Got a little bit of a breeze blowing out toward right field. The 2-2 is high. Three balls and two strikes. I mentioned Fountain Hills 22-3. They've lost twice to Notre Dame and once to Estrella Foothills. And that one's high for ball four. So Tant walks. And it's a one-out base runner for the Falcons in the bottom of the first inning. The batter is Andrew Bernarski. The second baseman, number 12, Andrew Bernarski. 
Fountainhill started the season off with 10 straight wins before losing 8-6 to, to Notre Dame. Then they won nine in a row before losing to Estrella Foothills, one to nothing. And then that uh, actually was the first of back-to-back -back losses as they uh, then turned around and lost to Notre Dame 12-1. to And they have since won three in a row. First one to Bernarski, high for a ball. Gifford with the set and the 1-0 pitch. And a line drive, and that's over the head of Lace, and that's into shallow left center field. Ball bobbled out there and left, but the runner is going to stay put as the throw goes over to third base. And the Falcons put two aboard after a uh, flyout begins the inning, a walk, and now a single. And two aboard with one out for Cameron Russo. Pair of left-handers going at it tonight at Scottsdale Stadium as Gifford tries to get out of first inning trouble facing Cameron Russo. And there's a ground ball out to short. Lace has it to second for the out on to first base, not in time. Sabercats get one of the lead runners, though, on a force play of Bernarski, 6-4. to four. Ball wasn't hit very hard, and so it was going to be tough to turn the double play. Ten to third, Russo at first on the fielder's choice. Now two outs in the inning, and the batter is Devin Foyle. And here's where you want to get that final out. Not allow that runner in from third base. Gifford's first one on the way, and it's a fastball outside for ball one. Saguaro with an RBI double from Brett Adams, an RBI infield single from Michael Bloom in the first. There's a ground ball. Into the hole at short. Lace has it on to first base, and that's in time. And Fountain Hills does not score in the bottom of the first inning. No runs on one hit plus a walk. They leave two, and after an inning of play from Scottsdale Stadium, Saguaro leads Fountain Hills 2 to nothing. Seven, eight, and nine in the order for the Sabercats in the second as Luke Eichstey takes strike one. And the next one over the outside corner, a strike. And it's 0-2. Eichstee, McGill, and Lagusas for the Sabercats in the second. The 0-2 pitch. And a line drive. It's kind of a humpback liner there caught by the shortstop. Kukula, and that's a line out to begin the Sabercats' second inning. Now Ryan McGill, and he takes the first pitch high for a ball. The 1-0 pitch, and a swing and a miss on a breaking ball. It's 1-1. One and one. And the 1-1 one, one pitch. And a line drive, and that's past the third baseman Russo into left field. A couple of steps out of his reach, and it's a one-out single. That's how the first inning got started for the Sabercats, and we'll see what happens here in the second. McGill at first base for Ben Lagusis. Fastball is high and outside for ball one. One on, one out. Top of the second inning. Sabercats leading the Falcons two to nothing. The 1 0 pitch. That's inside with a breaking ball, 2 0. Fastball is outside, and it's 3-0. and 3-0 and on the number nine hitter, Ben Lagusis. Not what uh, Wateziak wants to do here. And 
We'll see if he takes a little off here, the 3-0 pitch. Got it over for a strike, maybe belly button high there, and it's 3-1. and one. And the 3 1. And Lagusis out in front, fouls a pitch off. 3 and 2 the count. Runner takes off on a 3 2, and Lagusis fouls it away. Three and two on Lagusis. McGill just one one in steals on the season. I think that's uh, more of a hit and run there with Lagusis, who handles the bat well at the plate. The set and a three two, and it's outside ball four. Missed with a fastball, and that'll put another runner on for the Sabercats in the top of the second inning. And it's back to the top of the order for JT Nettleton. Nettleton came in batting 327, two doubles, two triples, and five RBI. And the first one misses for a ball. McGill at second, Lagusas at first, one out for the Sabercats, top of the second inning. The 1-0 pitch. Well, that's inside for ball two, two and oh. And a ground ball over to the right side. They'll go to second base for the first down. That's the only one they're going to get. Had a little ways to go there. Bernarski did the Second baseman, but he throws two seconds to force Lagusis. 4 6 on the four sound. McGill to third, and Nettleton aboard on a fielder's choice. And the batter is Turner Lace. Now, Lace had a base hit his first time up, entered the ball game at a 360 average with five and a triple, 21 RBI. The first pitch over for a strike. Sabercats leading 2 0. Wattisiak trying to pitch out of trouble here in the second inning. The set and the one strike pitch. And a slow ground ball up the middle. Playable over there by the second baseman Bernarski. And not really anything Nettleton could do there. He ends up sliding right into the tag. And that will end the inning for Saguaro. No runs on a hit plus a walk. Two runners left after an inning and a half. Sabercats two, Falcons nothing. Justin Stuber leads it off for Fountain Hills. Foul the first pitch out of play. And the next one misses for a ball, and it's one and one. Stuber, Paul Bernarski, and Neidhart for the Falcons in the second. And a slow ground ball over to third. Stansbury with it. And that throw on to first base and in time. The leadoff hitter retired in the Fountain Hills second inning. Now Paul Bernarski for the Falcons. Stephen Gifford two and one on the season making his 12th appearance of the year, an ERA of 2.26. He's thrown 31 innings for the Sabercats, allowed 27 hits. 18 walks, 27 strikeouts. And the first one to Bernarski misses for ball one. The 1-0. Low for a ball, and it's 2-0. Yeah, the 
Next pitch over for a strike, and it's two and one. Gifford's 2 1 pitch. Misses inside, 3 and 1. Boy, that pitch didn't miss by much. Called a ball, though, and Bernarski has a one out walk. Bottom of the second inning, Falcons down two to nothing. And that pitch over and a called strike. Looked like that might have been up a little bit, but a ball one, a strike one rather to Dakota Neidhart. That pitch is high and it's one and one. The 1-1 one, one pitch is high for a ball, 2-1. and one. And that ball lined down the left field side, but a foul ball. Sharp down the left field line, but again, foul by a foot or two. And a 2 2. And that's a line shot into right field, caught in right, and uh, going to. Oh, they would have doubled up the runner, but the throw launched over the head of the first baseman, Mara. That was a tailor-made double play there, but uh, Nettleton got uh, amped up a little bit too much on the throw. Made a great catch on the run coming in, and uh, overthrows Mara at first base. Now Nick Watiziak, the pitcher for the Falcons, he'll bat with a runner at first and two away. And a ground ball up the middle, going to be a long way to go, and it's under the glove of Lagusis into center field. And that'll put uh, two aboard with two outs. Tiziak coming off. We'll get a runner at first base for the Falcons as David Byrne will run. Back to the top of the order for Corey Kukula, who hit a fly ball out to Eichstee in the bottom of the first inning. Came in hitting 414 with a couple of doubles and 13 RBI. First one bounced in. It's off the glove of Adams. They'll throw it to third and safe the call. Throw a little bit off the mark, and Stansbury trying to swipe the tag by, and the base umpire said he didn't get the glove on him. I think that'll go as a pass ball, and then that'll put uh, two runners in scoring position. Fountain Hills had two aboard in the bottom of the first inning, but did not score. And we'll see what happens uh, here with the leadoff hitter up and two in scoring position. The 1-0 pitch over the outside corner, a strike. It's 1-1. One and one. Now the 1-1 one -one pitch. And a tapper, third base side, Stansbury charges. 
Bobbles throws. Merrick can't pick it up. Throw down the line, and that'll tie the ball game for Fountain Hills as the runner will go to second base. Uh, just uh, three different defensive problems for the Sabercats in the bottom of the second inning. That'll be a two-base uh, throwing error and two unearned runs in for the Falcons here in the bottom of the second inning. They tie the ball game at two. Now Josh Tan, a 365 hitter, seven doubles and a triple, 14 knocked in. Kukla at a second base with two outs and the pitch. The Tant is low for ball one. Again, the inning uh, could have been over, and you can't assume a double play, so it wasn't an error. It was just uh, you know, a, a mistake in the uh, field for the Sabercats on that throw from right field. They had... Uh, Bernarski after Neidhart hit that fly ball out to right field. Bernarski way off the bag, and they had him with just uh, an easy throw, and instead of uh, throwing over the first base when Maris had, that kept the runner on base, and uh, more importantly, did not give the uh, Sabercats the final out of the inning. Wojtysiak singled. There was a pass ball, and then with two in scoring position, Kukul hit a slow ground ball over to third base and a throwing error on the play. The ball popped up and it'll get back out of play. The count two and two now on Josh Tan. Two balls, two strikes. A runner at second, bottom of the second, and the pitch. And a ground ball over to the right side. It's Lagusas to his left. He'll throw it on to first base. And that will end the inning. Two unearned runs for the Falcons in the bottom of the second. They get to the two runs on one hit, one error, and one runner left on after two innings of play from Scottsdale Stadium. It's Fountain Hills 2 and Saguaro 2. Brett Adams going after the first pitch in the top of the third inning and a hard hit ground ball back up the middle into center field, a base hit. Adams two for two after that RBI double he had in the first inning. Came in batting 408. That average going to tick up now two for two on the day with uh, 19 doubles, 21 RBI. And it's uh, Lebroni again to run at first base for the Sabercats. Nick two out of two in stolen bases. with the bunt, sends it back to Atiziak. His only play is to first base. Mary gets the sacrifice down. One, three on the put out as LeBroni goes to second base and the batter is Michael Bloom. And Bloom hits a shot out to right center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Over to get it is Stuber. Lebroni waved around and no throw to the plate. RBI single for Michael Bloom. His second single and his second RBI of the night. And the Sabercats back in front as they lead Fountain Hills 3-2. to two. Bloom came in hitting 388 on the year. Six doubles, a triple, a home run. That's RBI's 18 in the first inning, number 19 here in the third. Now Shane Stansbury, Bloom going, and the ball pulled foul, third base side. Stansbury struck out his first time up. Batting 227, entering tonight's ball game with seven doubles and a triple, 11 knocked in. Runner goes, the pitch outside, the throw down to second base. And the ball is knocked out of the glove of the second baseman, Bernarski. Bloom was uh, going to be out by a couple of steps, it looked like, but uh, 
Slid right into the glove and the ball came out. So a break there for the Sabercats. One one pitch and Stansbury with a swing and a miss. It's one and two. The set and the one two and Stansbury with a swing and a miss. He strikes out for the second out of the inning. Fourth strikeout for Wetisiak. He struck out the side of the first. Allowed three hits in the middle of that, but uh, three strikeouts in the first inning. Now Luke Eichste with a swing and a miss for a strike. Eichste, a 226 hitter entering the game, two doubles and a triple, six RBI. He lined out to the shortstop his first time up. And that ball fouled back and out of play and the count 0-2. 3-2 Saguaro, top of the third inning at Scottsdale Stadium. Sabercats will be right back here again Thursday night. The 0-2 pitch. Bloom goes, the pitch high, the throw to third base. And a hang on to the baseball this time as Bloom is thrown out 2-5 on the caught stealing. And that will end the Sabercat third inning. Saguaro gets a run, though, on a couple of base hits. No errors and nobody left. After two and a half, it's Saguaro three and Fountain Hills two. First pitch to Andrew Bonarski over for a strike. The 0 1 pitch. And it's fouled back out of play. It's 0 and 2. Bernarski hitting 459 before his first inning single. Nine doubles, four triples, seven home runs, and 31 knocked in. The 0 2. Reaches out at that one and fouls it out of play. And the 0-2 pitch. Fastball side, 1-2. and two. And the 1-2 pitch. Misses outside again, 2-2. Two and two. Gifford ready again, the 2-2 two -two pitch. And a swing and a miss. Bernarski strikes out. And that's the first down of the inning. Strikeout number one for Gifford. And he faces Cameron Russo. And the first pitch to Russo outside and low. Ball one. Cameron came in hitting 432. Ten doubles, three triples, and a couple of home runs. He's knocked in 31. Pitch is low, and it's 2-0. and oh. One out bases empty, bottom of the third inning. Fountain Hills trailing Saguaro 3-2, to two, the 2-0 -oh pitch. High for a ball, 3-0. Rino to Russo in the pitch. That's high for ball four. Right, Russo boarded first base for the center fielder Devin Foyle.
And a first pitch of breaking ball looked like on the inside corner for a strike to Foyle, who grounded out to end the first inning, hitting 351 on the year, five doubles, six triples, and 19 knocked in. The one strike pitch. And a ground ball hit sharp out to Lace to Lagusas for one. On to Mara. Can't pick it out. A little bit of a low throw there. And so the Sabercats are not able to roll the double play, but they do get the lead runner as Russo is forced 6-4. to four. And foil aboard on the fielder's choice. First one to Justin Stuber, high for a ball. He grounded out his first time up, hitting 348 on the year. Three doubles, seven triples, two homers, 14 knocked in. The 1 0 pitch. Outside for a ball, it's 2 0. Gifford sets and the 2 0 pitch. Off the handle, foul back, and out of play, and it's 2-1. and one. Easy throw over to first base, and Foyle is back. Two stolen bases in three attempts. And the 2-1 is low, three balls and a strike. Falcons down 3-2, batting in the bottom of the third. The set from Gifford in the 3-1 pitch, and that's high for ball four. Second walk of the inning given up by Gifford and the fourth of the game. And now he faces Paul Bernarski, but uh, first a Sabercat timeout. Sure enough, we do get a Saguaro timeout. We play in the bottom of the third inning. Fountain Hills trailing Saguaro by a score of 3-2. Paul Bernarski in there, and that's uh, going to go to the backstop. First pitch from Gifford. Sounded like that hit a shin guard. I don't know if it bounced first or not. Or screened out a little bit. So I'm not sure if that would be a wild pitch or a pass ball, only because we really couldn't see the play from where we were at. Either way, though, the Falcons put uh, another runner in scoring position, second and third with two outs, and the 1-0 pitch. And a slow ground ball over to first base. Mara will smother it and tap the bag at first, and that will get the Sabercats out of it in the bottom of the third inning. The Falcons do not score. Had a couple of walks in the inning, and they leave two after three innings of play. Fountain Hills trails Saguaro by a score of 3-2. to two. Luke Icey, the leadoff hitter in the fourth inning for the Sabercats, and he takes the first pitch outside for ball one. And the next one outside, two balls and no strikes. Nick Wetesiak, the starter for Fountain Hills, 5-1 and one on the season, an earned run average of 1.75. Gets that breaking ball over for a strike, and it's one and one. He's allowed 30 hits in 40 innings, 17 walks, and 65 strikeouts. The 2 1. Ike's the bunts picked up by Wateziak and his throw to first base, and that's in time. for Ryan McGill, who's batting 263 on the year with a double and a couple of RBI at a base hit his first time up. And the first one of McGill high for ball one. So we're in a tough spot in Division II baseball sitting as the number 22 team. Swing and a miss. It's one and one. Top 24 make the playoffs, so you know if they were to start today, they'd be in. 
kind of the uh, scary thing about it for the Sabercats, their situation right now is that they play a lot less games over the next week and a half than uh, most other teams. As McGill hits a ground ball over to the right side, Bernarski on to Miles at first base. And that is out number two. But to Saguaro, including tonight's game, just three left between now and the end of the regular season, which is next Wednesday. There are several teams that have at least five games over that same amount of time, so just that much more opportunity for wins and more power points, of course. First pitch to Ben Lagusis is high for ball one. Now ball on a strike. And a ground ball into the hole. It's short. That's off the heel of the shortstop's glove and into left field. That'll be a base hit for Lagusis. Been hitting 340 on the year with a double and six RBI. He walked his first time up. Now give him a base hit. Seventh hit of the night for the Sabercats. And Lagusis aborted first with two outs for JT Nettleton. Nettleton a strikeout and a fielder's choice in two at-bats. Takes a fastball high and outside for ball one. Step and a throw to first base. And Lagusa's back. Ben, 10 steals and 13 attempts on the year. Two outs and a runner at first. Sabercats hitting top of the fourth inning. They lead 3-2. to two. And the pitch outside, and it's 2-0. Two-0 pitch he is low, 3-0. and Turner Lace next for Saguaro. Nettleton back in there and ready as Wattisiak sets. And a 3-0. And that's low for ball four. And before Turner Lace can bat, a timeout from the Fountain Hills dugout. We play in the top of the fourth inning. It's 3-2 to two, Sabercats. First one from Wattisiak to Turner Lace low for a ball as we get back to play in the top of the fourth inning. Two on and two out for the Sabercats as they lead it 3-2. to two. The 1-0 pitch. That's over for a strike, and it's one and one. Five in a row out of the strike zone from Wattisiak, so I guess if you're, at least maybe you're taken there, or at the very least you're looking for one pitch in one spot. And that wasn't what he was looking for. Now the set and a one-one pitch. That's bounced in. That'll get away. Runners are going to try to advance, and uh, no throw. As Lagusas goes to third on the wild pitch, and Nettleton follows and gets to second. Now two balls and a strike, and two in scoring position for Saguaro in the fourth. Looking to add on to the lead. The pitch. And uh, pitch has called a strike. I don't know if it uh, was over for the strike. I think that's what it was. Lace started the swing, but 
Didn't go around. I didn't see the plate umpire point at him, so I think that was a called strike. But uh, either way, it's strike two. And now time called. Lagoose is at third. Nettleton at second with two outs for Saguaro in the top of the fourth. And the 2-2. Two -two. And a ground ball down the line. A fair ball fielded. The throw across the diamond is in time. What a play. Now, wait a minute. We got uh, time called here by the uh, plate umpire. I don't know what to... Uh, I guess it was a foul ball. So I guess a foul ball the call. We stay at two balls and two strikes. But now a chance to get the run in. And I think a balk is called. Boy, Lagusis was ready at third base. And as soon as the plate umpire said uh, to play ball or to put the ball in play, he took off. It took Watiziak a second to get going. And then whatever he did was uh, an infraction of some kind as the balk, I think, was called by the base umpire. Sabercats steal a run literally here in the top of the fourth inning, and they go up by a score of 4-2. to two. So it'll be no pitch, and it's uh, still two and two on lace. Now looking to get that runner in from third base as Nettleton is over there now. Pitch outside, and it's three and two. Saber can get their two-run lead back. The 3-2, and that's driven into center field, and that'll get down for a base hit, and that'll give the Sabre Cats their biggest lead of the night, an RBI single from Turner Lace, his second hit, and RBI number 22 on the year. That's tops on the team, and it's 5-2 Saguaro. Now Brad Adams will bat with Lace at first base. And the first pitch fouled out of play right side. Balls in a strike on Adams. The set and the pitch. Maybe a little bit of low for a ball. It's one and one. At least four steals. He's been caught four times. The one one. He takes off. The pitch is high. The throw down to second base. That's not in time. And that might have been better just to hang on to that one. A steal for Lace, his fifth of the year. And he's in scoring position now for Adams. 5-2, Saguaro top of the fourth. Brent with an RBI double in the first, a single in the third. Takes that pitch for a strike, and it's 2-2. Two and two.
And the 2-2. Oh, that's behind him for ball three, three and two. Now the set and the 3-2 pitch. That's off his foot and a foul ball. Sabercats with two runs in the first, one in the third, and they've got two so far in the top of the fourth inning. Fountain Hills got both of their runs in the bottom of the second. Sabercats out hitting Fountain Hills 8-2. And the 3-2 hit on the ground to the shortstop. Kokola with it on to first base, and that is in time to retire the side. Sabercats add a couple of runs, though, in the top of the fourth inning. They do it on two hits and leave one. And in the middle of the fourth inning, it's Saguaro 5 and Fountain Hills 2. Bottom of the fourth inning, and it's Dakota Neidhart leading off. First pitch was low. And the next one outside, 2 0. 8 9 and 1 in the order for the Falcons in the fourth inning. And I mentioned just two base hits for Fountain Hills through the first three innings, but there's also been four walks. And I guess also throw an error in there as well. So they've had base runners for sure. They've left five on through the first three innings. The 2 0 pitch. That's over for a strike, and it's 2 and 1. Dakota hitting 279 coming into the ball game with a double, a triple, and two home runs. Knocked in 12 on the year for the Falcons. Three and one, the count now to the leadoff hitter in the bottom of the fourth, and that pitch is high, ball four. So a leadoff walk for the Falcons. And the batter is Nick Wittesiak. Pitch a ball. The 1 0. Gifford goes to the breaking ball to get it over for the strike, and it's 1 and 1. The 1 1 pitch. And a swing and a miss on another breaking ball, and it's 1 and 2. The 1-2 pitch. That ball hit pretty well. That's out into left center field, and that'll get down for a base hit, and maybe more. Bloom will have to go after it all the way to the warning track. Edhart waved around. The hitter going to third base, sliding in with Tiziak, an RBI triple, and Fountain Hills gets one right back here in the bottom of the fourth inning to make it 5-3. to three. And now a timeout from the Sabercat dugout. We play in the bottom of the fourth inning, 5-3, Saguaro. Corey Kukla at the plate. Well, the ball got away. The throw, though, to the plate. Out at the plate. Boy, Adams had that one go off his shin guard and deflect over to the first base dugout, but he pounced on it. Gifford came flying in, and they're able to tag out the runner. Big play there to erase a runner at third base. And what's easy act the first out in the bottom of the fourth inning. That's a big out there for the Sabercats. As Fountain Hills will now have to try to get it started with the bases empty and one out. Pitch was a ball to Kukula. And now he goes after a pitch and a ground ball fielded by Stansbury. And that throw on to first base is in time. And that's out number two. Josh 
Two away for the Fountain Hills catcher, Josh Tant. And he's going after the first one, but fouls it off. And that's strike one. Two outs, bases empty, bottom of the fourth inning. Falcons have scored a run, and they trail 5-3. to three. The Pitch misses for a ball, and it's 1-1. One and one. Tan with a walk and a ground out and two at-bats, or two plate appearances anyway today for Fountain Hills. Swing and a miss, and it's 1-2. and two. One ball, two strikes on Tant. And the pitch. And a breaking ball. That's outside. Two and two. Gifford with the 2-2. Two -two. And that's a line drive. And that's into left field, a base hit. Bloom hustles over to get it cut off. Runner going to try for second base, and the ball just comes out of the glove for Lagusas. They might have had the uh, hitter Tant going to second base, but instead he slides in with a double, and now he's in scoring position for Andrew Bernarski. You figure either one of the last two hitters would have brought in that runner from third base if they got the same result, the ground out. And then if not the ground out, then for sure that double. And the first one to Bernarski, low for ball one. 5-3 our score, Falcons batting in the bottom of the fourth inning. Next pitch outside for a ball, 2-0. Falcons have doubled their hit production. They had just two through the first three innings. They've got two hits here in this fourth. Pitch outside, 3-0. and oh. And now they are not going to waste the uh, last pitch to Bernarski. They'll put him on by way of the intentional walk. And... Gifford will face Cameron Russo. Gifford with a great outing last uh, week as he threw uh, a two-hitter against Notre Dame but lost the game 3-2. to two. He gave up three unearned runs as the Sabercats had five errors in the ball game. And the first one to Russo low for ball one. Two on, two outs, a run in for the Falcons in the bottom of the fourth. 5-3, Sabercats lead. Pitch misses. They throw to second base, not in time. Now 2-0 and on Russo. Russo, a fielder's choice in the first, a walk in the third. The 2-0 from Gifford. Popped up. Down the right field line, going to be a long run. Nettleton gets over and then has to kind of recover, coming back into the field of play and makes the catch to retire the side. Fountain Hills gets a run in the bottom of the fourth inning. They do it on a couple of base hits. There was also a walk in the inning and two runners left on. After four, Fountain Hills trails Saguaro by a score of 5-3. to three. Middle third of the order for Saguaro in the top of the fifth inning. And Matt Merritt takes the first one high for ball one. Uh, that one fouled off, and boy, that just about hit the on-deck hitter, Michael Bloom. 
Good thing he was watching. He was uh, looking out there and had to do a little bit of a backbend there to avoid getting hit. Mayor with a strikeout on the first, a sacrifice in the third. And that pitch a strike, and it's one and two. Mara Bloom and Stansbury for the Sabercats in the top of the fifth. And Rotiziak with a pitch. It's high, maybe outside. Two and two. And the 2 2 pitch. And that one fouled off. Still two and two on Matt Mara. And the pitch. Off the handle, a little pop up. And that's down and a throw on to first base and not in time. And that'll be an infield base hit for Mara to begin the Sabercat fifth. A soft little pop up line drive kind of in between. Bernardi, the second baseman, went over and couldn't get it. It deflected right to the shortstop, Kukula, but his throw to first base was not in time. And so Mara, just enough to lay out the infield single. And now Michael Bloom. And Bloom takes high for ball one. The 1 0 pitch. And Bloom with another base hit. Slams that one into right field. Mira will stop at second base. Third hit of the night for Michael Bloom. And the batter is Shane Stansbury. Well, I would think that uh, the Sabercats would bunt here with the first two aboard where they're out of the order, leading 5-3. to three. We'll see if that's the call. It is. Stansbury gets the bunt down. It's fielded by Wojciech. Boy, he bluffed the throw to first base and did not throw it. And I think that uh, the second baseman, Bernarski, might have been a little bit late getting over there. And he didn't want to risk the throw down the line. That loads the bases on a bunt base hit. And now a pinch hitter coming up as Luke Eichstee is called back and Jack Jeffries will bat for the Sabercats. And remember what Jeffries did on Friday afternoon over at Shadow Mountain. He came in to pinch hit with a couple of runners aboard in the sixth inning in a 2-2 ball game and delivered a two-run single. And he'll be asked to come up with something here for the Sabercats. So are up 5-3, batting in the top of the fifth. And Jeffrey's there with the bases loaded and nobody out. Jack hitting 214, two doubles, a triple, two homers, 11 knocked in. And the first pitch, a fastball high for ball one. Wojciech, the left-hander, sets the 1-0 pitch. And Jeffries with a big swing there. He got his money's worth on that pitch, but couldn't catch up to it. It's 1-1. One and one. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Uh, not able to pull the trigger on a breaking ball there, and they count 1-2. and two. Ryan McGill next for Saguaro. Uh, just looking for a ball into the outfield here to try to get that runner in from third base. The set and the one-two. Bounced in. That'll get away. Mara's going to try to score. And no throw to the plate. A wild pitch brings in a run. And the Sabercats go up 6-3. to three. So with Tiziak trying to go to the breaking ball to get Jeffries to chase, threw it in the dirt, and Tant wasn't able to smother it at the plate. Now the infield comes in for the Falcons. And the pitch low for ball three, three and two. Three 
in two on Jeffrey. Still nobody out in the inning. Matisiak with a set as he looks back to second base in the pitch. And a high chopper, and that's going to get over the head of the third baseman, Russo. One run will score, two runs will score, and Jeffries, not a hard hit ball, but a well placed ball. It's a two run double, and Jack Jeffries does it again. Another pinch hit with men on base, and Jeffries comes through. It's a two run double. The th Third double of the season for Jeffries. He knocks in RBIs 12 and 13. It's a three-run fifth inning for Saguaro. And the Sabercats go up 8 to 3. And we get a Falcon timeout. Again, playing in the top of the fifth. Saguaro 8 and Fountain Hills 3. So pitching change for Fountain Hills as Andrew Bernarski comes in from second base to take over for Nick Wittesiak. And he gets the first one to Ryan McGill over for strike one. Ethan Fett also in the ballgame now for Fountain Hills as he takes over at second base for Bernarski. There's a swing, that ball in the dirt, and the runner will advance to third base as Jeffries gets a good read there and goes to second, a uh, third rather, on the wild pitch. Well, I think Watiziak had good numbers, 5-1 and one in a 1.75 ERA. How about this for Bernarski? 6-1 and one on the year, a 0 0.57 earned run average. 37 innings pitched, 19 hits allowed, 15 walks, and 57 strikeouts. Infield back in again for the Falcons. And the pitch misses outside. McGill trying to get Jeffries in from third base. Nobody out in the top of the fifth inning for the Sabercats. They lead 8-3. And that bounces in. Boy, that gets away. And uh, going to have to hurry now if you're Jeffries. And he's out at the plate. Boy, he got a late read there. Took him a second to find the ball. It also took the catcher Tant a second to find the ball. But Tant found it and got it to the plate first. So the Falcons had a runner thrown out on the same type play in the bottom of the fourth inning. Now the Sabercats return the favor in the top of the fifth. And a swing and a miss. So two pitches and two outs there as McGill strikes out for out number two in the inning. And the batter has been Lagusis. Says with a tamper on the third base side, foul. And the next pitch outside, and it's one and one. Pitch over for a strike, and it's one and two. Three runs in for the Sabercats in the fifth. They lead 8-3, and there's a ground ball up the middle. Kukula with it, and they throw on to first base. And that is in time to retire the side, but a great inning for Saguaro as they put up three more runs here in the fifth. They do it on four hits. No errors and nobody left after... Four and a half. It's Saguaro and Fountain Hills three. Devin Foyle, the leadoff hitter for the Falcons in the bottom of the fifth, and he takes strike one. The 0 1. High for a ball, and it's one and one. Boyle, Stuber, and Paul Bernarski for the Falcons in the fifth. And a ground ball foul outside third base. It's one and two. And a one-two and another ground ball foul 
outside of third base. Pulling with a ground out to end the first inning and a fielder's choice in the third. Trying to get it started for the Falcons here in the bottom of the fifth inning and uh, Fountain Hills down eight to three. The one-two pitch. And a ground ball over to first base. Mara bobbles, picks it up, and flips it. Boy, he might have been better off just tapping the bag himself there. But Gifford did the right thing to get over. And a 1-3 put out begins the Fountain Hills fifth inning. And the batter, Justin Stuber. First one, a fastball high for ball one. Stuber grounded out in the second and walked in the third. The 1-0. That's over for a strike, and it's 1-2. and two. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Outside for ball two, two and one. Gifford with a 2-1 pitch. That's low for a ball, 3-1. and one. Saguaro got on the scoreboard first, scoring two in the top of the first inning. Fountain Hills got two back at the bottom of the second. Then Saguaro with a run in the third and two in the fourth to go up 5-2. Ground ball to short. Lace waits for the hop. Throws to first. And Mara with a stretch, two away. And the batter will be Paul Bernarski. And then uh, after those uh, three runs between the third and the fourth, a run for Fountain Hills in the bottom of the fourth inning cut it to 5-3. But then three in the top of the fifth made it 8-3. And it looks like that might do it here for Gifford. Two outs in the top of the fifth, uh, bottom of the fifth inning rather. And Saguaro leading 8-3. You know, no pitching change. Instead, it was uh, the Sabercats going out to check on Gifford to make sure he was okay. And his first pitch to Bernarski hits him right on the top of the one and sends him to first base, a hit by pitch. And now a timeout. Coach Dyer coming out of the dugout this time, and that'll be it. The Sabercats will go to the bullpen this time. We play in the bottom of the fifth inning, a runner aboard with two outs, and the Falcons trailing the Sabercats by a score of 8-3. to three. Jack Kraft, the new pitcher for Saguaro. Kraft 1-0 on the season, making his ninth appearance. And a swing and a miss as he gets out in front of Dakota Needhart 0-2. Eleven innings pitch for Kraft, a .45 earned run average. And a ground ball foul on the third base side. In those 11 innings, 10 hits allowed, 10 walks, 10 strikeouts. Hasn't pitched since Saguaro hosted the uh, Tempe Buffaloes through a couple of innings against Tempe. Pitch outside, and it's one and two. Kraft sets the one two. High with a fastball, two and two. Trying to get this final out in the fifth inning. And misses, and it's three and two. Runner goes on the 3-2 pitch. It's low and it's ball four. So the first uh, batter that Kraft faces walks. Now Ethan Fett bats for the first time. And 
and he takes high for ball one. Nick Watiziak, the player that started in the number nine hole, the starting pitcher out of the ball game, but uh, he had a single and a run in the second, RBI triple in the fourth. Now 2-0. and Kraft trying to dial it in here. Two aboard and two outs, bottom of the fifth. Fountain Hills trailing Saguaro 8-3. And that pitch over for a strike. It's 2-1. Fastball high, three and one. And the three one pitch over for a strike. That'll get the runners going again for Fountain Hills. Three balls, two strikes. Runners go, and the ball fouled out of play. Craft ready again. The runners take off, and it's high for ball four, and that'll load the bases. Time called again as Coach Dyer is back out of the Sabercat dugout. And another timeout in the bottom of the fifth inning. It's 8-3, to Saguaro. Turner Lace on a pitch. And a fastball inside just about hit Corey Kukula. Bases loaded with two outs. For the Falcons in the fifth. Lace 1-0. He got the win on Friday in relief over at Shadow Mountain. And that ball hit into shallow right field. That's going to get down for a base hit. And one run will score. The next throw cut off. And it's a two-run single to make it 8-5. to five. So Kukula with his first base hit. And he plates a couple. That makes it eight to five here in the bottom of the fifth. And now the tying run at the plate for the Falcons with Fett at third, Kukula at first, Josh Tant, the catcher, at the plate. That's a lace one and oh, making his twelfth appearance, three point four, two earned run average, fourteen and a third innings pitch, seventeen hits allowed, six walks and eight strikeouts. And his first one to Tant, a fastball high for ball one. 8-5, Saguaro, Fountain Hills batting at the bottom of the fifth. The pitch, that's popped up. And that's Lagusis over to make the catch. And the inning is over. Fountain Hills gets a couple of runs in the bottom of the fifth inning. They do it on just the one base hit. There were two walks plus a hit batter and two runners left on base. Through five innings of play, Fountain Hills trails Saguaro by a score of 8-5. to five. Top of the order for Saguaro in the top of the sixth inning, and J.T. Nettleton takes a breaking ball for strike one. Now the line of the 0-1. That one just misses for a ball, one and one. Back to the line of the 1-1 one, one pitch. And a ground ball over toward third, fielded by Russo. On to first base, and Nettleton retired. And the batter, Turner Lace. Lace with a couple of base hits, including an RBI single his last time up. 
takes the first one outside for ball one. The 1-0 pitch. And Lace puts a charge into that one out to left field, but there to get it, Paul Bernarski, and there's two away. Two outs for Brett Adams, who has a couple of base hits and three at-bats tonight. I'm going to give you the line for both starters if uh, we get a chance here. That pitch came in and uh, got just a piece of him, and Adams will head to first base. Adams on at first base, and we'll see if somebody comes out of the dugout here for Saguaro. It is Jake Shep that comes out of the dugout to run as the courtesy runner for Adams. And the batter, Matt Mara. So the uh, starting line, or the line for the starter, Nick Watiziak, four plus innings as he faced the first four hitters in the fifth without recording an out. 12 hits allowed, 8 runs all earned, 2 walks and 4 strikeouts. Breaking ball to Mara over for a strike. Steven Gifford's line for the Sabercats, 4 and 2 thirds innings pitched, 4 hits allowed, 4 runs, 2 earned, 6 walks, 1 of those intentional, 1 strikeout, 1 hit by pitch. The breaking ball missed, and it's 1 and 1 to Mara. Shep at first base running for Adams with two outs in the top of the sixth inning. Sabercats leading the Falcons 8-5. to five. Turn in a throw to first and the runner back. Temperature's starting to drop a little bit more here. The wind has died down, though. The 1-1. And that's fouled out of play down the right field side. And they count a ball and two strikes. Through the first five innings, Saguaro had been able to put up at least a run in every inning but the second. Now scoreless also here in the sixth, but they got a runner aboard with two outs trying to get Shep around from first base. The fastball is outside. It's two and two. If Mara reaches hot hitting, Michael Bloom would be next for Saguaro. Mara one for two, by the way. He had an infield base hit his last time up. Hit that little blooper that went off the glove of uh, then second baseman uh, Bernarski. And a good read there for Shep as he goes to second base on a ball that was in the dirt. It was smothered by Tant, but he couldn't pick it up clean. And so the runner moves into scoring position, and the count goes to three and two on Matt Mara. So I want to keep this uh, offense going here. As I said, they've scored in uh, four of the first five innings, but Fountain Hills on their heels. Mara tried to lay off on the appeal. Base umpire says he did not go around. That's a tough one for the uh, base umpire. You see him there on the uh, shortstop side of second base. Tough to see any sort of a check swing from a right-handed hitter. So after a ground down and a fly out, begin the Sabercats sixth inning. Now a hit by a pitch and a walk, put two aboard. And the first pitch to Michael Bloom over for a strike. As I said, Bloom hot, three for three tonight. RBI single in the first, RBI single in the third, single and a run scored in the fifth. The set and the one strike pitch. Just inside, looked like the plate umpire. Might have started to bring the right hand up, but uh, inside. It's a ball and a strike, and now we're going to get a pinch runner over at first base as Wyatt Fortney will come on. Again, this is a pinch runner, not a courtesy, but a pinch runner for Matt Mara, who I'm sure will uh, return to the uh, Sabercat defensive lineup when they go out in the bottom of inning number six. But for now, Fortney running at first. That's just in case Bloom is able to get a ball in the gap somewhere and upgrade the speed just a little bit and give 
the Sabre gets a chance to get that runner around from first base. A ball and a strike on Bloom. Here's the scent from Bernarski in the pitch. It's a fastball. It's outside and maybe low, and it's two and one. Two on two outs, top of the six. Sabre Cats lead the Falcons eight to five. The set and the two one pitch. Low for a ball, three and one. Shane Stansbury in the on deck circle for the Sabre Cats. And a ground ball fielded at third base, and Russo able to tap the bag just ahead of Shep, the courtesy runner, and that will end the inning. Sabercats do not score, and we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. It's still 8 5, Saguaro. Andrew Bernarski leads it off in the bottom of the sixth inning and takes ball one. The 1-1 one -one pitch fouled off, and it's a ball and two strikes. Bernarski with a single in the first, a strike out in the third. He was intentionally walked in the fourth, and now batting in the sixth. Bernarski, Russo, and Foyle scheduled a hit for the Falcons. Next one low, and it's two and two. Check swing, held up, and they count three and two. That uh, breaking ball just about got him there. And that one fouled off. Now the 3 2 pitch, and it's inside ball four. Ninth walk. Given up by Sabercat pitchers. And the batter is Cameron Russo. And the first one to Russo over for a strike. He's 0 for 2 with a walk tonight. And that got him. Just barely clipped the jersey there, the sleeve of it, it sounded like. But a hit batter, and now the first two aboard with nobody out. Tying run comes to the plate for Fountain Hills again. Now in the bottom of the sixth inning with nobody out. And time called. And uh, we may get another change here for Saguaro. Playing in the bottom of the sixth, it's 8-5. to five. Sabercats go to the bullpen again. Their fourth pitcher of the night is Nick Maservi, the left-hander. And he gets in front of Devin Foyle with a strike. Now the one-strike pitch. And a swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. First two aboard and nobody out for the Falcons. Bottom of the sixth inning. The 0-2. And a fly ball into right field. That's going to fall for a base hit. Runners had to wait to see if it was going to be caught, so they didn't uh, get a big jump there. And they go station to station as that loads the bases with nobody out. And the batter is Justin Stuber. Nick Maservi, 3-5 on the season, a 4.38 ERA, making his 13th appearance for the Sabercats, 38 in the third innings pitch. That's tops on the team. 41 hits allowed, 22 walks, 51 strikeouts. Going after Stuber. 
And the first pitch over for strike one. Now the tying run at first base and the go-ahead run at the plate for Fountain Hills. The 0-1 pitch. A swing and a miss. It's 0-2. A survey with a nod into the wind he goes in the two strike pitch. High with a fastball trying to get Stuber to chase. Sabercats playing everybody back. Looking for an out, and they'll get a strike out here as Stuber swings and misses. And that's a much needed first out for the Sabercats in the bottom of the sixth. Now Paul Bernarski, who has walked, grounded out, and been hit by a pitch. He scored both times he reached base. And a swing and a miss for strike one. Another swing and a miss. It's 0-2. That hit from Foyle uh, just a couple of moments ago, the sixth of the night for the Falcons. Sabercats with 12. And a swing and a miss. And Bernarski strikes out. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts. Maservi's only thrown one ball in 10 pitches. He got Foyle down uh, nothing and two before a single and a right. Struck out Stuber on a 1-2 pitch, and Paul Bernarski, three strikes, and done. Now Dakota Needhart. He takes the first pitch low for ball one. Base is loaded, now two outs in the inning, though, for the Falcons. They trail 8-5. to five. The 1-0. And a swing and a miss. It's 1-1. One Servey back to it, the 1-1 pitch. At the knees, a strike, and it's 1-2. and two. And Servey with a 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and down goes Needhart, and out go the Falcons in the sixth inning. Servey gave up a base hit to low the bases, but then three straight strikeouts. And the Falcons are turned away in the sixth inning. No runs, a hit, a walk, a hit batter. They leave the bases loaded. They have left 12 runners on base now through six innings of play. And after six, Fountain Hill still trails Saguaro by a score of 8-5. to five. Shane Stansbury leads off. And takes strike one here in the top of the seventh inning. The 0-1 pitch over for a strike, and it's 0-2. Stansbury, Ike, and McGill scheduled for the Sabercats in the seventh. They'd sure like to add another couple of runs here, or five, as the next one is high, and it's 1-2. and two. And the 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Stansbury strikes out to begin the seventh for Saguaro. Sabercats will be right back here at Scottsdale Stadium under the lights on Thursday night, a 7 o'clock first pitch. When the uh, Sabercats will face Arcadia. And they'll wrap up their season with a home game next week against these same Falcons from Fountain Hills. As Ixty takes strike one, Fountain Hills will face Coronado. Then they'll be at Scottsdale Christian. And then, as I mentioned, on the road at Saguaro to wrap up their regular season. The 0-1. Breaking ball over for a strike, and it's 0-2. Bernarski back to it. The two-strike pitch. He's outside with that one, and it's 1-2. One two pitch. Inside with a fastball, two and two. Fastball 
Back to the wind, the 2-2 two -two pitch. Outside, 3-2. and two. Bernarski, 3-2 pitch. High ball four. Good at bat there for Ixty. He's showing a little patience. And he's on at first base with one out for Ryan McGill. First pitch to McGill outside and low for ball one. Ryan with a base hit back in the second inning. Since then, a ground out and a strikeout. The set of the 1 0. And a fly ball out to left field, but playable out there. Paul Bernarski just about in his tracks there makes the catch. And that's out number two. Yeah, Ben Lagusis, the number nine hitter at the plate in the top of the seventh inning. I would think that uh, maybe Eichstee will take off here. Got a short lead, not going anywhere on the first pitch, and the first one of Lagusis inside for a ball. To me, anyway, the thinking is, you know, Lagusis with a base hit already tonight, one for two, came in batting 340, so... Not that uh, he's not going to have a chance to hit the ball, but uh, probably going to be uh, a singles type of hit. And so the only way to get that runner in is to get him to scoring position. Otherwise, it takes you two base hits to score him anyway. The 1-0. And a hard hit ball. There is a ground ball into center field. That'll be a base hit. And then, uh, boy, they just about... Uh, Got Ixty there hung up. I don't know what happened. He got a big turnaround second base and slammed on the brakes and had to scurry back to the bag at second. So Lagusa has come through with a base hit. Now two aboard with two outs. And the batter, J.T. Nettleton. Eight five Saber Cats top of the seventh inning. Uh oh, now they got the runners hung up as Lagusas took off early. They're going to throw back to first base and he's out. Somebody missed a sign there. Double steal, I think, was uh, going to be the call. And Einstein didn't take off from second. Lagusas was in trouble and he's thrown out over at first base to end the Saber Cat seventh inning. No runs on a hit. A walk and one left. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Sabercats will try to hang on. They lead Fountain Hills by a score of eight to five. Nine, one, and two in the order in the bottom of the seventh inning. And the first one to Nick Wetisiak misses for a ball. Next one over for a strike, and it's one and one. So he's back in there batting. In place of Ethan Fett. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Kukula and Tant follow for the Falcons in the bottom of the seventh inning. They need a couple of base runners to get the tying run to the plate in the seventh. The one two from Nick Maservi inside, and that got him. Not the way he was looking to start the inning for sure especially being ahead of the count, a ball and two strikes, but a runner on base. First one to Kokola is inside for ball one. Working quickly, Maservi finds the inside corner a strike. It's one and one. 
Fountain Hills shortstop one for four tonight. He had a two-run single his last time up. The set and the 1-1. One, one. A little bit low, two balls and a strike. Sabercats leading 8-5, trying to hang on here in the bottom of the seventh inning. And a ball fouled out of play. It's 2-2. Two and two. Fountain Hills has left nine runners, I'm sorry, 12 runners on through six innings of play. Sabercats have left seven on through seven. And the fastball high, three and two. And the three, two. And that one fouled back. And we stay three and two. Matiziak at first base with nobody out. Maservi's 3 2 pitch. Not close. Ball four. So the tying run will come to the plate for Fountain Hills in the bottom of the seventh inning. And the batter is Josh Tant. Tant going after the first one, swings and misses for strike one. A survey outside of the next one. But we can appreciate that he's up there and ready to go, but look at him. He's right in there and ready. He wants to get set and go again. And a pitch over the outside corner, a strike. It's one and two. Well, maybe he's trying to work quicker here, but uh, sure only want to do that if you're really dialed in. And there's a swing and a miss for the first down. So Tant strikes out, and there's one away. Yeah, Bernarski. And he takes a strike one. That's Andrew Bernarski, the pitcher for the Falcons. Two aboard with one out, bottom of the seventh inning. The 0-1. Outside, 1-1. One and one. A little bit surprised that Fountain Hills is letting uh, Maservi get up there and work so quickly. A couple of looks back and the 1-1. One -one. There's a swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes. Of course, Maservi gave up a base hit to load the bases in the bottom of the sixth after he came in with two runners aboard and then three straight strikeouts. The one two. And strike three called. There's back to back strikeouts now in the seventh. And there's two away for Cameron Russo. And just like that now, the Falcons down to their final out, still with a tying run at the plate, trailing eight to five. Russo 0 for two. He's also walked and been hit by a pitch. And he takes strike one from Nick Maservi. Well, maybe Nick's on to something here, throwing quickly. The 0-1. And a swing and a miss. It's nothing in two. And now the Falcons down to their final strike here in the bottom of the seventh inning. The two-strike pitch. Just missed inside, one and two. Latiziak at second, Kokola at first, two outs, bottom of the seventh inning. Maservi with a one-two pitch. And a called third strike. Boy, Russo thought it was high. He looks back in disbelief, but Maservi strikes out the side after giving up a hit batter and a walk, three straight strikeouts. And Fountain Hills done in the seventh inning. No runs, no hits. Two runners left on. And our final score is Saguaro 8 and Fountain Hills 5. And a nice win for the Sabercats here against these uh, Fountain Hills Falcons. Again, a very good team, Division 3, but uh, still a good team. A team that uh, came in with a 22-3 uh, record.
and the Sabercats get the job done tonight as they win by a score of 8-5. to five. Totals on the ball game for Saguaro, eight runs on 13 hits, one error and seven left. For Fountain Hills, five runs on six base hits, no errors, and the Falcons leave 14 runners on base. They uh, clearly had their chances tonight and uh, could not come up with uh, just a couple of more base hits to get uh, up even with the uh, Sabercats. So Saguaro wins it by a final of 8-5. to five. And uh, Stephen Gifford gets the win to go to 3-1 and one on the year. Nick Wojtysiak takes the loss. He falls to 5-2. And, and for Saguaro, now 14-13 and 13 overall and 9-7 and seven in PowerPoint ballgames. Fountain Hills 22-4. and four and they dropped to 12 and 4 in PowerPoint games. So that'll do it again our final score from Scottsdale Stadium at Saguaro 8 and Fountain Hills 5 from Scottsdale Stadium in Scottsdale. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network saying so long. We'll talk to you Thursday night when the SaberCats return to Scottsdale Stadium to face the Arcadia Titans.